Yo guys, what is going on? And welcome to the FIFA 19 Wickham Wanderers career mode, where we're back and we're looking to get off to a better, mm, I'd say play better. We are looking to do better than what we've been doing recently in the league. Um, last episode, um, we played. Which ones did we play? We played the Walsall game, which we lost 4-1. We won't talk about that one. I think I simulated the Peterborough game and they actually won. Um, that game we won on penalties dramatically. Loader scored a hat trick. That game we won, I was surprised, and then we lost at home to Shrewsbury. But now we're finishing off the November fixtures. Um, and yeah, we're finishing off November with Akron Stanley away. Um, yeah, hopefully we can do well. Uh, Macalambo is keeping his place in the team because he's playing fantastically well at the minute. Um, I, I want to get off to a winning start this episode because it's just been poor recently. Um, but yeah, it's hard because Wickham aren't a bad team, they're just average. So it's just a little bit difficult to to try and play them. But um, yeah, hopefully in this game against Akron and Stanley, we can, uh, we can do well. So yeah, we'll see you in the highlights of this game. First highlight of the game here, we've got a cleared header from uh, McCarthy, full straight to the man. Brown and there's not a lot Macalambe can do about that. Just headed straight to him and then on the edge of the box that is a, what a wonder strike really from the man. Absolutely incredible. He couldn't get enough on that. But we went forward just uh, nine minutes afterwards. Played to Sam Saunders who levers it in off the post. And we've scored a lot of goals from the edge of the box like that and just just outside the box that have been absolute beauties. He takes one touch to steady himself. And then the second touch, he just absolutely bangs it. That is a quality finish from the skipper. Absolutely unsavable. Ah, oh, fucking Mikael Smith really should have scored at least two this game already. Fucking just low driven shots are just ineffective on this game, apparently. We've been good good value for the draw, though. Like, for the, we probably could have been in the lead if just other shots were going on target. But, unfortunately, we just cannot convert any chances that we're creating at the minute. Um, hopefully that improves in the second half. First chance of the second half, Loder came on as a substitute and played one through for Mikael Smith, who absolutely twatted one off the, off of that. It might not look like it went in, but he absolutely thunder cunted that one in off the, I think it's the post and the bar that came straight back in. I'm not sure why he's not taking it to goal line technology, but it did go in, I can assure you that. And now we have another one. Uh, Mikhail, that's Mikhail Smith plays the ball through to Kashke, who rifles one past the goalkeeper, who probably could have done a bit better. Hasn't covered himself in glory not keeping that one out. But it's 3-1. Kashke with his sixth goal of the season in the league in League One. Yeah, keeper really should be doing better with that one. And now we have a chance for Atkinson Stanley. Can they make it 3-2? No. Makalambe with the strongest hands you've ever seen. He's incredible. He can he's he makes so many good saves. And without him, we probably would have lost a few more games. Now we have another chance as it's played through. Danny Bloomfield gives the ball to Kashke, who rivals one into the top left, top right-hand corner this time. First goal was going straight through the middle of the keeper, and this time he uses his left foot and just twats it into the top, top right. No save in that one whatsoever. And here we have the mat, uh, another chance for Atkinson stand. It's come out to Brown again, and it might not look like it took a touch off of the goalkeeper. But this is a fantastic save from Macalambe. This is fingertips. Absolutely incredible save to tip it wide of the post. And then approaching the last minutes of the game here. And it's another cross and a brilliant save once again from Macalambe, who's having probably his best game of the, of the season. Absolutely incredible save from our man in net, the number 30. who's producing heroics once again. Well, that is what I mean about taking chances. Finally, in the second half, we were able to put chances away and convert shots on target. And Kashke, with two incredibly good, fucking powerful finishes, really just sealed this win. Finally, Mikhail Smith was able to put a shot away. Oh my god. Uh, the, the three goals we scored in the second half were just absolute pile drivers, weren't they? Yeah, we'll take that. 4 1 against Accrington Stanley. We're off to a winning start of this episode. Makalambe had an inspirational performance today nine saves he literally kept me in the game for most of the time Mikhail Smith got I'm pretty sure load yeah loader got an assist off the bench which is nice I thought he got two but I will 
Uh, Mikhail Smith got a goal and two assists. It's not bad. It's really not bad, actually. Um, but yeah. Oh, decent win that. Well, we won a game, and Yves Macalambe is thanking me. Thank you, mate. Without you, we wouldn't be half the play half um, the team we were. Yes, our first round of the FA Cup was Gillingham away from home. Absolutely incredible. Oh, they want 1.85 million. I'll tell you what, we'll pay 1.85 million for the man that they call Callum Hudson Adoy. Um, let's have a look at our scouts. See what they've brought back. Mm, not quite. Mm, not quite. Ooh, maybe. Yeah, it'll do. Um, oh, yes, definitely. £400,000 right, um, overall. Uh, no one else, really. Of any note in the Scotland bit. How about our island? Ireland doesn't seem to be having much going on for it. Um, which is kind of disappointing. Ireland aren't a bad side. We'll take him. Uh, might take him as well. Goalkeeper. There we go. I'll do for that. Um, I actually need to put an offer in for... A, tr a wage offer in for Hudson Odoi, don't I? Alright, he's not going to accept that. Let's go like that. Maybe he'll accept that. Uh, right then. Oh. Is that a fair few scout reports coming back? Because I've put a lot of in. Oh no. Oh, he wants to be sold, he wants to be sold, he wants to be sold. Uh, no. Now let's go to do our training. Um, he's getting better, Samuel. As soon as he hits like the mid sixties or so, I think that's when we'll start really start trying to use them. We need an international break at the minute. Well, two players from us are in the in the in the team of the of the team of the, or the players on the month shortlist. Good for us. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I can't sign him because we just won't put a good enough offer in and I actually have to go in and try and physically sign the bloke. Um, who will be 2018's player of the year? It's always got to be Lionel Messi for me. Oh, Leicester beat Brighton. Did one of our players win player of the month? Oh, Mikael Smith, what a lad. He's going down and overall like it's no tomorrow, but you know. The cup side is coming back out. Palacios is up to 66 overall now. Yeah, we've brought this this bloke up from the mid um, from the from the youth team. This Mac Neal, he was the is the Scottish bloke. And he looks like he could do a job, and I think we'll play Ward as well. Uh, another youth player. Actually, do you know we'll play Fox. We'll play Fox, and we'll keep we'll play Allsop in this game, and Loyola can play as well. Right, there we go. Oh, it feels good. I definitely want to do well in the FA Cup. This is only what round two. Uh, round three is when the big boys start coming in. So, there's all the potential if we win this game, we could go to a, one of the bigger clubs in the Premier, or like the Championship or the Premier League. Already tested ourselves against Championship opposition and unfortunately lost on penalties. So, hopefully this time. Uh, if we make it through, that is. Like, this McNeil bloke is incredible. I think he's got five-star skills, what, something like that. Um, so, yeah, I look to, I'm looking to to see him sort of run the midfield a little bit. At 63 overall, he becomes one of the better players in the midfield as well. Yeah. I will see you in the highlights for this first FA Cup match of the season. Well, first highlight of the game is for Gillingham, and they cross it into the box, and Loyola can't get the ball and he's he swapped positions with Fox for some reason and that's why it's a mix match because he wasn't ever going to win the header anyway if he was there and he just allows him all the fucking free space in the world to get that header away it's fucking stupid another chance for Gillingham in the seventh minute there and it's crossed into the box yet again and yet again who's not defending it properly it's Loyola I cannot stress enough how much he is pissing me off at the minute He's in front of him as well. How is he allowing him to get the fucking volley in? What the fuck? And a brilliant pass from Connolly. 
sends through uh, Williams, who fires and tries to get us back into the game with a brilliant little finish. Um, just absolutely pile drives it past the keeper. Um, brilliant finish, to be fair. Um, and that's his second goal for us, I think. Uh, and as it stands, it looks like we're heading out of the cup. Could have had a penalty, could have had, like, a couple of goals. Easily. Uh, it's just annoying, man. Ah, uh, fucking... It's really quite frustrating that we're too... The way we went 2-0 down, Loyola at the back is a liability. He genuinely is just shite. It's, it's, it's terrible. Fox hasn't played too badly. It's, and it'll be at fault for the first goal, but Loyola just, just cannot defend anything. It's unbelievable. And then we, in the second half, we started attacking a lot more. And how on earth he's managed to save that is unbelievable. You know it's not your day when shit like this is being saved. Like, I get that... Like, in the, in the last game, that went in. And another chance for Gillingham as they... He skills my defender up massively. And then they fire over from a tight angle, to be fair. It wasn't going to trouble Allsop, although it is Allsop at the minute, so... It wasn't, it wasn't a great effort. And now another chance for Gillingham as... Uh, this time, it wasn't Loyola's fault for once. But a good save from uh, Allsop. We're finally starting to see the better side of... Full stop for once. Um, yeah, it's a, quite a good shot and quite a good save. And then uh, Loyola again, not quite in his position, and then can't defend to save his life to keep the ball out of the back of the net as they get a rebound goal, which is quite scrappy and made it 3 1, which it really didn't, really wasn't quite as it wasn't deserved, and he really should have got there before the striker. And then once again, Loyola out of position, can't defend. Fuck's sake. You can't defend it when your left back's in what like, centre attack in midfield. Well, what's the point? I can't win the ball and that bloke, Parker, has got a hat trick. Absolutely fucking stupid shit from this game sometimes. And uh, fair play to Allsop for watching it go in. Fuck me, Leo. Look at, at fault for all four goals. At fault for all four of them. Actually unbelievable how I've crushed out 4-1 to fucking Gillingham. I couldn't get a single thing going my way. And then fucking Loyola just kept pissing about with anything. Didn't play in his position. Just kept fucking off. Actually annoys me. Because I wanted to play. I wanted to do well in the FA Cup. But no. 4-1 to fucking Gillingham because Loyola can't fuck. Swear to God, man. Loyola just needs to get a life and stop defending like shit. Oh, yeah. I forget that Connolly got injured. He was one of our, blo he was one of our better players as well. Kind of annoying. Um, I've got some absolutely terrible players. Um, let's get his vision up, everything like that. Oh, Samuel's gone up to 60, uh, 59, and Palacios is up to a, seven, a 67, so that's good for him. He's getting quite good at that, uh, that old dribbling stuff now, isn't he? Oh, Alan Connolly's out for two weeks as well kind of poo. Oh dear. It's kind of disappointing really because we were playing quite, it was playing quite well. Well we're not in the cup anymore so goody. We're, we're into the area semi-final again of a uh, of fucking Checker Trade Trophy because that matters. Um I don't know if I want to play Samuel because he doesn't seem bad. He's quite quick. His finishing's not the worst. Yeah, we'll give him a go. Play Freeman. Play Crown Hall. Um, give Thompson a game. Mm, we'll keep McNeil. I don't know. Bean, no. Saunders, yeah. Go for it. <laughs> you think I'm going to play Loyola again after the fucking game he just had? You can get to fuck. Even Bagioko can defend and he's shit. Well, uh, it'd be Charles again, really. And Macalambe can play. Cool. That'll do for us. Ah. Do you know, just before we get into that, I need to do something. It needs to fucking happen. Where is he? Oh, I can't even get rid of him. I can only release him. I don't really want to pay to release him. I want to sell him because he's awful. Can't quite sell him yet. Maybe Loader doesn't 
need to be in the team because he is quite tired. Um, so who do we put in? Fuck it, we haven't played Akin Fenwar in a while. Maybe the big man can feed in the little guy. If we can win this uh, area of semi-final of the Checker Trade Trophy, I think that'll do, that'll do us quite well. I'd quite like to to win something in this seat in in a Wickham before we get into like having good sides and like that. If Samuel puts in a massive performance today, um, doesn't seem that bad in, in the training drills, and training drills are always different to the real game. Um, yeah. If he can do that, maybe we'll start giving him a few more games. But at the minute, it's us against Doncaster, and I'll see you back in the highlights for this game. Starting off this game's highlights, we have a ball played through by Doncaster, and they were just allowed to get the ball into the box, and there's just no stopping that. I, I wasn't able to get there before, because Bagioka's decided he wants to play fucking centre mid. It's fullbacks on this game that are ruining it for me, and there's nothing you can do about that finish. Like, it's just quality. And we'd gone... 2-0 two, two down and um, now we're 3-2 up uh, the two goals we'd scored were with Charles who scored an absolute beauty and it's not going to show it um, and Samuel who scored an up, who scored quite a good goal and now Akin Fenwar across into the box gets the goal oh fucking hell what a turnaround I cannot fucking believe how angry I, wa I am that we went 2-0 two, down in such a stupid way as well it's just annoying because it is only fucking Doncaster they're not great, but um, yeah, at least we're at least we're winning now. They've had two shots. Well, that's all I can say about this. Look at the amount of t shots we've had. We deserve to be ahead at this point. It is just kind of annoying that we had to go two 0 down to get ourselves back in the game. Can I say the goal from Charles was absolutely mesmerising to look at. First chance of the second half here. We whip it in. Falls to Sam Saunders, who takes it on the first time and fires it into the top corner. And he scored another beauty this season. He's got a catalogue of brilliant goals for us from midfield, this uh, Sam Saunders. Um, absolutely incredible finish and has made it 4-2. And then because this is FIFA, I can't fucking defend the chances that he create. And um, that guy again that scored the first goal, he didn't score the second goal for them. Like, there's not a lot I can do about this because they just leave them open and Makalambe really, really should be saving that. It's at his near post and it's straight at him, really. But, you know, you thought Sam Saunders' goal was good. Have a look at Thompson's goal. Absolutely twats it in from a good 30 yards. He takes that first touch to just set the ball up, keep it rolling forwards, and then he just absolutely levers it. Takes a little nick off the knee, I'm pretty sure, but take nothing away from the strike. And just equally as unbelievable of an effort. Just doesn't need to fall to him like that. It's unfucking just that it takes the ma it takes the deflection to get to him, and nobody's marking him in the first place. And I oh, just can't get to the ball before him. He just fucking hooks it on the half volley, right over. Oh, he gets a touch on it as well. That was too fucking stupid for my, for the game's own good. Didn't fucking he got a fucking hat trick out of fucking nowhere. It, it just didn't need to be a nine-goal game. Fucking didn't need to keep pulling one back for them every fucking single time I got the ball. Every time I got the ball, my players would take the shittest touch they could to give the ball away and just allow them another fucking shot on goal. And Makalambe just can't fucking seem to save a shot in this game. Like, they had fucking... Literally, two of the goals have, fu have fucked me about. I think it's the fourth goal they scored and I think possibly the third goal... Or the sec the third goal. Third and fourth goal. Fucking idiotic. Makalambe should keep the third one out for fucking definite. And the fifth one, you just... Why is Bagioko not being allowed to get there before him? Just fucking annoys me to death. Well, well, well. We're tenth in the league, which is good. Um, and we're into the final of whatever competition that is, the Checker Trade Trophy. Um... That's going well for us. Bagioko, mate. You've played one game and you're not feeling up to it. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, I've got to play Jacobson because I cannot fucking be bothered with how bad Loyola was. Um, Kashke is going to play. Gape. Um, Palacios is going to come back in. Uh, we'll get Mikhail Smith up there with Loader. 
that'll do us for this team selection. Um, right, unbelievable. Um, I'm gonna sim this game against Gillingham. It's oh, <laughs> Gillingham, the team that beat us 4-1 in the FA Cup. Uh, hopefully we can not lose 4-1. Oh wow, we've won 2 0 Fuck me. An away sim is more impressive. It's harder to win than a home sim, but I've won more away sims than home sims this game. We're back up to ninth. So we're slowly climbing our way back up the league, which is good. McNeil has gone up. His vision's going up as well. Sprint speed on Samuel's going up as well. We're getting there. We really are getting there. We're not on track. I don't care. <laughs> um... Maybe. We're only four points off the top six, so it's every chance we could be ending up with um a a playoff spot in this in this uh this season. Well we'll have to keep trying our hardest. Um do I wanna sim this game against Wimbledon or do I wanna play the game against Wimbledon? Um Lalas Ubicar. Okay, I don't care. Monthly scouting update. England. Wow. These are some especially bad players today. He's the only alright one. <laughs> wow, that was awful. And Aaron Connolly is back. You're clearly not okay to play, mate. Don't at me. Don't at me with this bullshit. Where are Wimbledon in the league, by the way? Right, they're not up the top. Oh, they're in the bottom four. Do you know what? Fuck it. We can end this episode with a sim against Wimbledon in the league. If we lose, I'm going to cry. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to end the episode off this. So if you have enjoyed, please drop a like on the video. Uh, it means quite a lot. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you are new and turn the notification bell on so you never miss a video of mine. Um... If you have enjoyed the episode, comment what you thought on the episode. Coming into the, we've uh, we've gone one 0 down, um, and we've lost one 0 at home. How is it easier to sim away games than it is to sim home games? Because now I'm going to be back, oh, fucking back down to eleventh. What's the point? <laughs> fucking piece of shit game. Right, Palacios' stats are going back up. His agility is up to seventy five. We're getting there. Palacios is going to turn into a world beater a couple of few seasons. Charlie put looks disappointed not to start. I don't get why the board is so angry with me as well. I mean, I'm doing an alright job. Who, who got player of the month? Oh, we saw, didn't we? I'm a fucking idiot, aren't I? Why is it Jason McCarthy? The guy to. Oh my god. Management is poor. Fuck yourself. Alright then. Alright. That'll do us for this episode. I will see you in the next episode, guys. So peace.